a lot of these trucks going by, and I believe, I believe they're log trucks going headed to the pulp mill. Make some paper. Onward. We're about eight miles from the Texas border. Can you believe it? That's pretty, isn't it? Back to business, boys. Billboard. Oh, we're back running down the, the edge of Highway I-20, 80 merged, and coming into Washam, I think it is Washam, Texas. Six or eight miles to the border, we'll be in Luciana. I don't know if you can see it, but I developed a blump, 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 lump in the tire. So we're going to put our spare on. Just catching up on a couple chapters. Where's Mr. Lester? He's in Dallas, sitting up in the behind that big easy chair. Ah, <laughs> letting you do all the work out here. Yeah. What's your name? Charles Lawrence. Mr. Lawrence, and what yeah. what's the name of the town here? Wascom. Wa Wascom. Wascom. Texas. Yeah. Still yeah. in Texas. Uh -huh. We've been in Texas a long time. How much longer are we going to be in Texas? About another three-quarter mile. Oh, I can hardly wait. I think we're going to get a bottle of champagne and celebrate. <laughs> you should. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so here is Texas. Here is, you guessed it, my God, I can't believe it. 900 miles. After having cycled across the deserts of California, Arizona, and New Mexico, then riding more than 900 miles crossing Texas, at last, we enter Louisiana and the Deep South. For redneck encounters and more details, go to page 87 of our book, My American Dream. Greenwood, Louisiana. Fairly brisk tailwind, bringing us right into the road. Louisiana is a little jumpier, the roads aren't quite as nice as Texas. It's real bumpy back there for a while. That's the view from our hotel, not real exciting. Here in Shreveport, Louisiana. Because, very interesting freeway system here. Way to ride across part of that last night coming in. Another Mercedes truck. Interesting. Strange place. It reminded me of Jamaica when we got here. We rode in last night, it uh, has a sort of smell of uh, the tropics. Everything's sort of half finished or half put together. This is the Red River. 
town draws its name from a Captain Shreve who came here in 1833. And at that time, Mother Nature had created a log jam that extended back along this river for 165 miles. You could actually walk across the river on the log jam. Captain Shreve worked hard for several years dislodging the log jam, opening the river up for, for river transportation and trade. The town was incorporated in 1839 and they named it after him. Report. Victoria says she thinks this is the Barnwell Garden and Art Center. Does boat rides, but there's nobody home. It's supposed to be a paddle wheeler that we can go up river. And you have some decisions to make here. We do have McDonald's. That's the Texas Street Bridge that we just walked under. Vicky says, why are you spending so much time on film here? This isn't that great. But I've never seen such contrast. Just inches away and there's a really nice place. Nice sidewalk, clean, fixed up. And then we have boarded up buildings. Broken out glass. Incredible. Terrific. An example of ornamental wrought iron. Honky Tonk Row.
Want more details? Go to Amazon.com and grab our book, My American Dream, in print or ebook.